I'm Isaac Jackson, and this is Richard Wright Gives Back. The South Carolina Combat Veterans Group was organized as a therapeutic support group for combat veterans suffering from PTSD. It has grown from a small group to more than 400 members. Once a year, many of their members make a trip to Washington, D.C. to visit legislators, pay homage at the war memorials, and visit our high school, Richard Wright Public Charter School. Through camaraderie, great foods, song, and stories, we are encouraged by these dedicated people of service. This is our way of paying our respects and profound appreciation, sharing their stories and doing something special for those who have done so much for us. When the veterans come in, um, we usually set it up. We have people downstairs to greet them and people on the elevator to greet them. Lunchtime, we start preparing like decorations and putting the food out for the veterans and getting areas ready for those who are disabled. We help um, serve them their food and if they need us to take it to the table, we do that. And we just have a good time and listen to them talk about their experience and watch them have a good time have music for them, we have good food for them to eat. Um, it was chicken, rice, macaroni and cheese, salad, and it was desserts like cake, cookies. They sing new gospel, old gospel. They're actually very, very patriotic, so when it's time to do the pledge, they have commands and stuff to do it. I think that day is really important to them because they get to see other people who went through the same thing as them. And Well, you know, it's very humbling because some of the stuff that they went through, some of the stuff they did, I would not have the courage to do so. People act and, uh, sensitive to the situation and don't really care and sometimes say ignorant things about them like, oh, they're old and all that and they don't know anything, but they may know more than you and have things to tell you. I think that is very important because it shows that we are doing the best that we can, even if it's just feeding them dinner. It takes time to give back to those who have done something for us. In order it to be a leader, you must be willing to serve people. See, you can't, you have to start off serving people before you can ever lead people. I want to thank you for your sacrifice. I want to thank you for your service. I want to thank you for protecting us. I want to thank you for serving our country. I want to thank you for keeping us safe. I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart.